Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and welcome to an alien romance tier ranking video. I actually saw my lovely friend Victoria do something similar to this but with hockey romances and my friend Morgan do this with small town romances. I'll link both of their channels down below but I was like I need to do that with alien romances. So I have collected, as you can see on the screen here, I have collected quite a few what I'm deeming to be popular alien romance books out there. I collected these books from a wide range of like areas. I checked Instagram, I checked um, Goodreads, and I checked Amazon because there is no like popular list. You know what I mean? Like there's no list you can Google. What are the most popular alien romance books? Like that's not a list on the internet. So this is what I think the list is based off of how many ratings a book has and how often I've heard people talk about them. So I have a bunch of books here that we're going to sort. We're going to tier rank. This is actually my first tier ranking video. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a little tour of what I have created here. So um, the tiers that I have created are all-time faves at the top. Next is would recommend a book that I did still like, just not an all-time favorite and I would recommend to other people. And then I have the not my thing section. This book just wasn't really my thing. I don't see myself rereading it and I don't necessarily think that I would recommend it, but everyone has their own reading tastes, obviously. So don't take my word for something if a book interests you go check it out. Um, and then I have books that I already have on my TBR and books that are unread, but I've like never really heard about before. Um, and I don't know if I'll read them because I don't know enough about them, if you know what I mean. So I have all of these, I think there's around 50. I can't recall off the top of my head, but we are going to dive right on into this. And also I just want to say if I missed one of your favorite or a alien romance you think is very popular from this list, please just put in the comments. Like, I didn't mean to forget it, but like, let me know like, hey, maybe you should read this one because it's very popular. Please let me know. I probably knowing me like I missed a few. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So the first one, I just, I don't know if I want to go in order. Like the first one here is what we're going to do. Um, I think I might just like go randomly. So let's do Let's start with a Miss Ruby book. Also, I'm not putting them in this category when I first pull them. I'm just putting them on the screen so people can see what book I'm talking about. Okay, so Fire in His Blood is the first book in the Fireblood Dragon series. Also, I only picked books that were first in a series because this whole entire thing could be Ruby Dixon, right? So I only picked first books in a series, even though the fifth book, I think fifth book in this series is my personal favorite. I only picked book number one for all these series. Okay, anyway, Fire in His Blood by Miss Ruby Dixon, first book in her Fire Fireblood Dragon series, which is a series about alien dragon shifter creatures, and they basically cause an apocalypse on Earth, and it's like faded meat romances. I would put this one in would recommend, at least this first book here, because I would recommend it, but it's not necessarily my all-time favorite because there are books in that series that I absolutely love. Um, that I love more than this one, but I feel like it's a great starter book. So I definitely would recommend it. Next, we're just going to pick this one. This is Mama and the Alien Warrior by Honey Phillips. We're actually going to keep this book in would recommend. I really like this one. I definitely want to continue on with the series. Our heroine gets zapped from earth with all of her charges. She runs this home for pregnant teens who have nowhere else to go and all of the pregnant teens their babies the heroine and the little girl that she has get sucked up into space by evil aliens and our hero ends up rescuing all of them and he falls for the heroine i think it's really cute next i have awaken me darkly by gina showalter this one is a book that i read i want to say in 2023 i can't recall but i, I read it somewhat recently and I was really looking forward to it because it had so many ratings. This book is very popular. This one I personally don't really deem as alien romance because it's not very alien-like, but they are from different a different planet. So the heroine in here I think is the alien. And I honestly don't remember anything about this book. I do remember like that I didn't love it per se. So I'm just going to put in not my thing. This book is not my thing. I unfortunately have read a few Gina Showalter books and they're just not my cup of tea. Next, I have this book, which is called The Mellier by Poppy Reese. I think I've read one book by Poppy Reese. I don't know anything about this book personally, so I'm putting it in um, unread, but I definitely will look it up when I have the time. So also let me know if any of the books that I have in my unread section, like books I don't really know anything about, if you would recommend them, like just let me know. Let me know what you think about them and if I should read that. Next, 
Next is Grimm by MK. How do I say the last name? Edium? Edium? Um, I, this one has been on my TBR before um, because I have seen many people talk about it and it's been on many alien romance lists. I can't remember what it is though, like what it's about off the top of my head, but um, I mean, that cover is kind of iconic. So next I have Claimed by the Alien Warrior by Tiffany Roberts. This one is really fun because in a lot of alien romance books that I read that other people read. It's about someone else going to a different planet, whereas this one, our hero has been taken from his planet and put on Earth and he's been experimented on and he's escaped all the doctors. And while he's like running somewhere, he comes across the heroine who I think is parked in front of a gas station and he just gets in her car and is like, take me somewhere. <laughs> he like threatens to kill her. He's like, if you don't take me somewhere, I'm gonna kill you. But then they end up falling for each other anyway. So like they're trying to escape like the government on earth because he's an alien. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep that one in would recommend because I definitely would recommend this one. But I do love other Tiffany Roberts books more than this one. Well, I wanna find one that I would put in all time fave so we can have that one ready to go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go, Captive of the Horde King. Whoop, right there, all time fave. This whole series is an all time fave. These are barbarian alien books that are chef's kiss creme de la creme alien romance books if you have not read this series yet and you love alien romances you need to and i also feel like this is a great stepping stone for getting into alien romance especially if you love fantasy because it reads very much like a fantasy romance series next i have hold by claire kent which um is kind of alien and kind of not they're both humans and they both get put in an underwater jail and she has him protect her and stuff like that. I don't really know how to describe it, but I would definitely recommend this book. So it's staying in that one. Next, I have Ensnared by Tiffany Roberts. This is going in all-time fave. I love this one. Our heroine is a human and the hero is like this alien spider creature. Okay, I'm terrified of spiders. This book did not terrify me. Like, Kayton in here can get it, okay? He ends up finding Ivy in like a space pod, wakes her up and takes her back to his nest and... Mm, they have a grand old time together. I haven't read the other books in the series, I know, but I just bought the audiobooks and I'm going to be listening to them very soon because the hero, like the male narrator's voice that I've heard in samples, literally melt like butter. So I needed to get the audiobooks. Next is claimed by Evangeline Anderson. I have never heard about this book before, but it had a lot of ratings on Goodreads. So I think I need to look into that one. Same thing with um, this one. This is called The Last Hour of Gone. And um, I think I've heard about this one every now and then, like people have talked about this book before. I've I've never really looked into it. I don't remember what it's about. So um, it's just going to go in unread. And also, by the way, just because I have the book in unread doesn't mean I'm not going to read it. Um, I probably will read it. <laughs> Next is His to Claim by Taylor Vaughn. I have read this book. I listened to this through Libby. My Libby has this book and I think I unfortunately DNF'd it. So it's not my thing. I think I wasn't that big of a fan of, a, of the hero. Um, I'm not a big fan of like non-con stuff. And I think this book was heavily filled with non-con. Next is I Married a Lizard Man by Regine Abel. The first book in her um, Mail Order Bride, like monster alien romance series. I love this one. It's staying in would recommend. It's so fun. This one's about a heroine who gets Mail Order Brided to the hero's planet. And he's this lizard man creature. And she's a human woman. It gave me a lot of Radiance by Grace Draven vibes. And the fact that like they get married, but they don't really find the other person attractive at first. Um, but then they become friends and then they fall in love, all that jazz. So I really did enjoy this one. And this series is really fun. Another series I need to continue on with. Next is His Human Slave by Renee Rose. I have read this book, another book with non-con. So not my jam. So it's not my thing. <laughs> Next, I have Stolen by an Alien by Amanda Milo. This one is the first book in her series. I have reread this. I reread this uh, last year because I reread it in order to read all the other books in the series. And if I told, if I had this book on this list before I reread it, I would have put it in not my thing, but I reread it and I changed my rating. That's very rare for me to change my rating to a higher rating upon reread. Um, but I really did enjoy this. I think it's because I know a lot of what was going on like side plot wise, because I'd read a few of the books, but I wanted to read them in order. So I think that enhanced my enjoyment of it. This one is a language barrier to the max romance. Our heroine is kidnapped by aliens and put on auction and the hero saves her, but they can't speak and he tries to bring her back to her people. Next, I have The Corsair's Captive by Ruby Dixon. I'm gonna keep this one and would recommend as well. This is the first book in her Corsair series, which is a alien 
a pirate romance series, which is so stinking fun. These books are so short and so fun. But number three is definitely my favorite in that series. The heroine in there. Oh, I fell for her so hard. The heroine in book number three, like she gets tortured, like her eyes get scooped out of her head, like it's awful. Um, and the hero is just the sweetest bean ever. So if we had that book on this list, that would be going an all time fave. But I don't have that one. Next, I have Claimed by the Alien Rogue by Crystal Luna. I've actually never heard about this book before, um, so I'm going to put it in unread, but I think I did put this one on an Amazon wish list of like books I need to look into and maybe read. Like it looks really fun. Like look at him, like all bright and luminescent. I love that. Um, next is A Sign of Mate by Grace Goodwin. This is the first book in her Interstellar Bride Program series, which is like 30 books long. I think I tried to make a video of me like reading all of them that is in the garbage now because there were just so many books like I personally just am not into reading all of them anymore they are very 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 similar I feel like if you've re read one of them you've read them all um, but I still would recommend this book because it's it's still fun like if you want like hot taboo ones the heroine gets gen genetically matched to the hero and sent to his planet and he's like this alien prince but they like all the characters in this series they all look human like there's no like fun alien parts to them or they don't look green or they all look like humans so i mean that was a miss i feel like on grace goodwin's part next i have dragon's baby by miranda martin this one just got a cover change so this is the new cover and um i would recommend this especially if you are um, new to maybe alien romance um it, this gave me ipb vibes but on a desert planet instead of an ice planet which love that um and yeah the heroine is a scientist and she gets like away from her group on this planet they've gotten on that's full of sand it's a sand planet basically and the hero rescues her and um he has dragon wings which is very fun next i have his human nanny by michelle mills that's gonna also go and would recommend i'm sorry putting all these in one section but i would recommend them i'm not very picky with my alien romances you can like tell a commonality with like these two i'm just not a fan of non-con that's not really my thing um especially when there's no like hard bdsm rules set in place and these books definitely oh do not it's different when there are like rules set in place for non-con but these two like no these here are like these heroes literally essay the heroines all day long. Like, mm -mm, no. So his human nanny is so funny. It's so funny. Our heroine gets hired to be the nanny to this alien creature who looks very much like our stereotypical devil, like red with the red horns, can breathe fire, all that stuff. She's going to be the nanny to his two twins. And the first time she sees him, when he picks her up at the train station on his planet, she like faints because she thinks like the devil is there. When she wakes up, she's so embarrassed. She's like, oh my gosh, you're my new boss. I'm so sorry. Like that will never happen again. And like, it's just so fun like single dad nanny romance. It's so cute. And like the babies that can breathe fire get into a lot of chaos. Next is Lauren's Barbarian by Ruby Dixon. I also would recommend this book. It's not my favorite Ruby Dixon book, um, but it actually, fun fact, is the book that got me into Ruby Dixon. I actually started with this book. I don't recommend doing that because I was actually very lost. I actually have the whole video on my channel breaking down what order you should read all of Ruby's books and Ice Planet World, how you should read her book. So you can go check that video out. If I remember, I'll link it down below for you. Um, so I started with this book. I was a little confused. This is the first book in her Ice Home series, which is a spinoff to Ice Planet Barbarians, but it takes place on the same planet, but just with new human women. Our heroine Lauren gets stranded on a island on the planet and meets Cathar, the hero in this story, who has four arms. And there's a huge language barrier. Y'all know I'm a sucker for those, so. Um, and next book is Taming Chaos by Anna Carvin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never read this book. I've never seen this book before. So it's just going in unread. Next is Accidental Abduction by Eve Linglius. I think this book was really short. It's going in not my thing. I think I read this one years ago. And um, the humor, I don't think, was my favorite thing ever. I'm just... It just, it was very bizarre in how the characters were so familiar with each other right when they met the heroine. I think she's on a yacht with her boyfriend and um, like her boyfriend, I think dumps her on the boat and then she ends up getting stranded in the middle of the ocean, like floating in the middle of the ocean and then the aliens abduct her. Yeah, the guy is this big purple dude and <laughs> yeah, they're very familiar right from the get-go. I'm like, you just met. <laughs> you 
just met. So it's just, it's not my thing. Next, I have Strange Love by Anne Aguirre. I've heard a lot of people talk about this book. This book is on my TBR. However, it's like hesitantly on my TBR because I think one or two of my friends have read this and didn't like love it. So that's why I'm like, oh no, because I think, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, people, like please do. I heard this is not very heavily romance focused. It's more sci-fi, which don't get me wrong, I love sci-fi elements, but I'm definitely there for the romance. So like, I still want to read it though, because it is so popular. Like everyone's talked about it. Next is Prison Planet Barbarian by Ruby Dixon. I don't know which one to put it in all-time favor, would recommend. I think I, because I don't know, I'm going to put it in would recommend. The heroine of the story and the hero meet on a prison planet and they, they meet and they escape together and they fall in love. It's that simple, but I really love this one. Next is this book called Draco. I believe the author is Hattie Jacks. I have not heard about this book before, but um, it looks cool. Like his skin is like fiery. I don't know. Next is this book. This is Possessed by Tana Stone. I have not really heard about this book all that much. I think I've seen it pop up every now and then in like alien romance recommendations, but I don't really know anything about it. So it's just unread. Same thing with Dar. Um, this one has been floating around online for me. I've seen this one pop up when I look for recommendations, but I don't know a lot about it. Then I have uh, The Alien's Prize by Zoe Draven. We actually just read this book for our um, Beam Me Up book club, our first pick. And this one would go and would recommend, especially if you love like the stereotypical plot line of an alien romance, like heroine gets kidnapped, put on a slave auction block thing. The, her the hero saves her, takes her back to his people, wants them to be faded mates, all that jazz. So it was actually a really fun time. The Aliens Bite by Ella Black is my next one. I've never heard about this book before, so it's going down there. Um, same thing with Alien Lord Captive by Mina Carter. I wait, this book looks really familiar. I think I actually have this one on my Kindle. It looks so familiar. So I think I'm just gonna put it on my TBR because it is on my Kindle. So um, next is Artek by Honey Phillips. I totally would recommend this book because I think it's so cute. It's the first book in a series about the, like a retelling of Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers, um, but they're on a ranch on this ice planet. And like, it's really fun. Like these ones are really fun. There's a lot of like the kidnapping trope throughout this series. This first book is really sweet. Next is Ice Planet Barbarians. You already know where that one's going. It's going right to the top. <laughs> I love this book. If you don't know what this book is, go figure it out. I love this book. I love this series. I will die on a hill that that series is amazing. Next is Heart's Prisoner by Olivia Riley. This one, our heroine is a scientist and she's sent to study the hero, but then she falls in love with the alien that she's studying. And he's like, one of the dangerous, like the dangerous alien, most dangerous alien, like in their like study program. So that one's going and would recommend, I would recommend that one. Next is Ribs Sanctuary by A.G. Wild. I'm putting this one in all time favorite. I love this one. It is so fun. Our heroine gets kidnapped from earth and like bought by this gross looking alien dude as a pet for his wife and the wife sees it. And she's like, that is so ugly. Why did you buy me a human? <laughs> it's okay it's really funny and so he's like what do I do with this human now like my wife doesn't want it what do I do so he just drops it on the doorstep of Riv Riv owns a sanctuary for um alien animals to like rehabilitate them and stuff like that and he finds this human woman on his doorstep and he's like what is going on <laughs> and it's so I think it's so fun book number two is even better so Hutz Protection, love that one. That one's like a survival romance. I love this series. Next is Aliens Tyrant by Ursa Dax. Tiffany and I are actually gonna be reading this one very soon, okay? And so this one is on our TBR. I think um, there's like a big language barrier trope in here. I've heard amazing things about this book series specifically. Need to pick up that one. Next is Heat for Hire by VK Ludwig. I think Tiffany recommended this book to me, so... Um, on the TBR for sure. I have read a few VK Ludwig, but I've never uh, read this series before. Um, next is Desire in His Blood by Zoe Draven. Another Zoe Draven book. I love me my Zoe Draven, right? Um, but I haven't read this book yet. I know, I haven't. So it's going on my TBR. I know, shame me please in the comments, but I haven't read that one yet. Next is Silent Lucidity by Tiffany Roberts, the first book in one of their series. They just got new covers. Look at how pretty that is. Um, this one's on my TBR. I haven't read this one yet. Um, but book number two or book number three in the series, the hero in that book like captivates me every single time I see one of their like commissioned art pieces for it. Um, but I've never really seen a lot about this one specifically, but I want to read this one to get to that one to see that hero. He looks so good. Um, uh, next is Rexor by Ella Maven. It's going to stay on TBR. Um, I kind of maybe gave up on Ella Maven because I just thought she just wasn't for me because I've read, um, 
this one, this one, this one is going and not my thing. This one is like alien motorcycle club <laughs> books. This one just wasn't my thing. And I even read book number two, it just wasn't my thing. And so I think people told me to read this series. I think that's what y'all said, right? Um, what if it's not this one, what other series do I need to read by Ella Maven? Like, please let me know because I think this one's it. So this one I'll put on my TBR, but if I'm not a fan of this one, I think Ella Maven just isn't for me. Next is Treasure of the Abyss by Tiffany Roberts, which is their Kraken alien romance series. And um, I've only read book number one, another series that just got new covers from them. I think for the better. I love these so much. And I'm putting this one in would recommend. Let's put this down here. Um, would recommend um, the heroine like crashes on a ship and the hero saves her and like brings her to an underwater cave and like keeps her captive because she's not supposed to know about his species. It's really fun. Um, and then Anna and the Alien is next by Honey Phillips. This book right here. Um, another Honey Phillips book. I love Honey Phillips. This one's on my TBR. I have not read this one yet, but it's actually sitting in my Kindle right now. So next is Choosing Theo by Victoria Aveline. This one's all-time fave. I love this one so much. You have a plus-size heroine, her getting in an arranged marriage with a hero who like can't believe that this woman like picked him to be married to him. Like it's so stinking good. If you have not read this series yet, you need to. Next is Taken to Varaxia by Elizabeth Stevens. This one's going an all-time fave. It's so good. If you want a more darker element to your alien romances, these ones are the one to go with. We still need to read the rest of the series, Tiffany and I, but we've read the first three. They're so good. They're so good. Our heroine is actually a hybrid. She's half alien, half human, and she lives on this moon full of humans. And um, the hero who rules the planet that the moon is orbiting doesn't know that there are human slaves on this moon. And so he realizes some of the some of his supplies and money is going towards this moon. He's like, what's going on? So he travels to the moon, figures out what horrible things like some of his men are doing. And then he ends up scenting his mate who is absolutely terrified of him. So it's really good. Um, and the last one here is, oh, come on, let's go. A Wed to the Alien Warrior by January Bell. This is the first book in the series by January Bell. And I definitely need to continue on. Um, but a group of human women who were tasked by their government to um, form this treaty with these aliens, go to their planet, form this treaty, come back, basically sign. They want them to sign this form. Little do they know that their human government has actually sold them to these aliens as like brides. And there's this whole ceremony. There's a language barrier. So they don't know what's going on. But they end up all getting married to aliens and they don't know it. <laughs> so it's actually really fun. So this first one was a blast. And I do need to continue on with the rest. Yeah, this is my tier ranking. Here's my all-time fave. I think I really like what I have here. And you see, I don't have a lot of books and not my thing because I feel like I'm very easy to please. <laughs> I'm very easy to please. Okay. I need to check out these books for sure. These ones at the bottom. So let me know down below where you would put these books. I would love to know. But yeah, this was really fun. Thank you for joining me in my first ever tier ranking video. <laughs> I love talking about alien romances. So this was so incredibly fun. Also, let me know down below what other tier ranking videos you'd love to see from me because this is actually really fun to do and I definitely want to do more. So let me know down below again, if you've read any of these books or if you plan to um, and recommend me the books on my unread section too, please. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can obviously leave me an alien emoji in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.